Universal God of Destruction tournament has officially begun with Goku versus Botama. What's going on, Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back. I'm Red Gaming here today presenting my official review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 33. Be surprised, Universe 6. This is Super Saiyan Son Goku, just as the title says. Super Saiyan Goku has returned within Dragon Ball Super, going up against Botamo as his opponents throughout the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 God of Destruction tournament, which we all have been waiting for ever since the manga dropped. All been waiting to see Goku throw down against Botamo, and now we finally have. And of course, in case you guys are wondering how I saw the episode, it was on SteamUp.com. There are certain stream websites, and of course, being featured on Kiss Anime and other sites between today and tomorrow. So now going into episode 33, the tournament begins with Goku versus Botamo. Right in the early gecko, we see Botamo throwing his weight around. What actually reminded me of Majin Buu's attack when Majin Buu used to like curl up in a little ball and he used to just fling himself at people. So that's exactly what Botamo did, except you know he didn't really curl up, he just essentially threw his body weight around against Goku, and it was actually working because Goku wasn't able to hit him until actually Goku made contact with him. And then once Goku made physical contact with him, he wasn't able to do any damage because of Botamo's skin. And we get to see Goku just, you know, punching and kicking Botamo all over the place, but it literally had no effect because of Botamo's skin. And due to the nature of that, Botamo was able to push Goku further and further towards the edge until Goku decided to wrap his arms around Botamo's legs and drag him towards the edge, where of course he threw him out and Botamo was eliminated. It was a very, very fast fight, guys. Honestly, I was very disappointed on the fact that this didn't get enough time because it just felt so fast and it felt so rushed. But the payoff was very rewarding because we saw Shampa's face and, and the way Shampa reacted to Goku eliminating Botamo was very funny because he was he was rolling all over the floor, he was crying, he was complaining, and Beerus was celebrating, everyone was celebrating on Universe 7 side, and of course Shampa being Shampa, he tried to accuse Goku of cheating and stuff. It was really hilarious until we had none other than Frost from Universe 6 step up to challenge Goku. So now it's official Frost versus Goku in what was a very fast-paced match. And again, I will explain more of that in the further breakdown episode where I'll talk about next week's episode as well in about an hour or so. So you guys might want to go ahead and tune in for that. Uh, but now next up on the list is Frost, and we had Frost versus Goku in what was a very, very intense battle, uh, reminiscent to Golden Frieza versus, you know, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, except only this time we get to see Frost transform once, and then we saw him transform again the final time uh, towards the end as he fought Super Saiyan Goku. And what was really interesting to note here was the fact that once Goku transformed into a Super Saiyan, everyone else from Universe 6's side was a little concerned except for Hit. If you guys go back and you rewatch the episode, pay attention to Hit because for the first time, he actually decided to open up his eyes and pay attention, but he disregarded Goku's transformation. He didn't really care. It was almost as if he wasn't phased by it. So that was really interesting to know because again, the way Goku displayed his power against Frost was scary because he was beating the crap out of Frost. And I will say that I was completely wrong about Frost because here I thought Frost was going to be a challenge, but instead, Super Saiyan Goku proved to be more than enough even for final form Frost because he had Frost worn out, tired, beat down, and just groggy towards the end because we get to see, you know, Frost's legs, he was shaken, he was all tired. He was very he was very surprised as to, as to how strong Goku was, and we were all surprised as well. I was very surprised when Goku was able to catch um, Frost's punches and stuff, and Frost was landing like some tremendous shots, and Frost is very, very fast, by the way. If you, if you actually pay attention to how fast he was, he, he demonstrated tremendous speed, but again, that speed was barely enough to even keep up with Goku because Goku uh, was able to outmatch Frost, and he, uh, he was able to outclass him, essentially, to where he was able to put him down for the count until we saw Goku get a little woozy towards the end. His eyes were beginning to fade. He was beginning to be, feel very dizzy until Frost was able to capitalize on that and kick Goku out of the ring, which caused Goku to be eliminated. Now, we don't necessarily know as of right now what caused Goku to get all groggy and uh, worn out from this. Perhaps maybe it had something to do with Botamo, um, but Goku was fading in and out. He, he pretty much lost consciousness and he fainted uh, to where we see him get eliminated. And, and even once he got eliminated, we saw his Super Saiyan form pretty much died out and everyone was shocked, including Frost, which leads into Piccolo versus Frost in next week's episode. Again, guys, this was a very awesome episode. It felt very fast, by the way, um, judging based on having Goku fight two fights with Botamo and Frost. Uh, Botamo having to be a very fast fight. Very disappointing, mind you, uh, but the fight with Frost was so interesting because you would you would think that, you know, Frost would have the edge here, but it was quite the opposite, especially with Golden Frieza versus Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, because we saw Golden Frieza have the edge first until Goku capitalized on Golden Frieza, but instead here we have Super Saiyan Goku capitalizing on Frost first, and then but instead here we see Super Saiyan Goku capitalizing and overclap. 
But instead here we have Super Saiyan Goku outmatching and outclassing Frost at first until Frost was able to turn the tides and eliminate Goku, which was very shocking by the way. But again, this leads into episode 33 with Frost versus Piccolo, which, which again I, I will get into more of that in the uh, breakdown review. Uh, but this episode was very fast paced for me. I, I really wanted to see more. Um, and, and Kabe again, going back to Shampa, when, when, when Shampa saw Goku transform, he literally asked Kabe if he was familiar with that. Like You, you can tell based on body language um, that every single competitor within Universe verse 6 was very surprised as to what Goku has done except for Hit. Hit just did not seem like very impressed. He did not seem like he cared which leaves me to believe that yes in fact I do think Hit is going to be a huge problem. So leave your thoughts down below guys as to what you guys thought of this fight. What are your overall thoughts on Goku versus Botamo being so fast and what are your overall thoughts on Goku having the edge over Frost in the early get-go until he lost consciousness um, and, and also let me know guys as to why you guys believe that Goku lost consciousness which caused him to get eliminated. Comment down below guys and also let me know down below as to how you think Piccolo is going to fare up against Frost in next week's episode. Again, I will talk more of that in the breakdown review. Thank you all for watching once again. If you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe. That way you guys don't miss a single Dragon Ball update. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys cannot wait to see Piccolo versus Frost like I am, smash that like button. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Tune in for the breakdown, guys. Thank you all for watching once again. God bless you all, and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.